this log problem right here would have been your usual textbook problem if it wasn't for one thing. Notice that the base here is 9, while the base here is 3. We need to make the base for each and every log the same before we can start combining them. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to square this base, 3, and I'm going to square this argument, x, as well. There's a rule that says that if I square the base, and if I go ahead and square the argument as well, the log expression does not change. Also, that 2, meaning the coefficient, we want to go ahead and put it here as the exponent. And that 1, we want to go ahead and rewrite it as log of base 9, argument 9. So there you have it, folks. I took that 2, the coefficient, and placed it here as the exponent of the argument. And I changed that 1 into log of base 9, 9. And again, I'm using the formula that says that log of base a, argument a, always equals 1. And as you can see, I squared a 3, got a 9, and I squared the argument as well. One of the common mistakes students make often is that when we have log in the equation, they like to just go ahead and cross out the logs. And we can't do that. Only time we could cancel off the log is when we have one log expression on the left side of the equal sign and one log expression on the right side of the equal sign. In order to do that, we need to go ahead and combine these two logs. And to do that, we take log of base 9 x minus square, meaning the argument from the first log, times 9, the argument from the second log. Now that we have one log expression on the left side of the equal sign and one log on the right side of the equal sign, we're able to go ahead and cross out the logs like this and end up with the equation right here. And if we do x minus 2 squared, we get and we'll go ahead and take that 9, distribute it into the parentheses, and finally we'll go ahead and subtract the x squared. And here, we're going to multiply by 1 over 4 first in order to reduce the numbers, where we end up getting 2x squared minus 9x plus 9 equals 0. And factoring this, we end up getting 2x minus 3 times x minus 3, which where we get 2x minus 3 equals 0, or x minus 3. 3 equals 0, or x equals 3 over 2, or x equals 3. Are they both our solution? They're not. You always have to go ahead and check the x values, plug it into the original equation, and make sure we don't get a log that is a negative or a 0. Remember, the rule is that if you have log of a, then the argument a must be greater than 0. It can't be 0 or negative. If I take that 3 over 2, plug it in here, the x minus 2, notice we end up getting negative 1 half, which means that 3 over 2 is not going to be part of our solution, and our final answer will be x equals 3.